Hey everyone, welcome to another Pollock Academy where we're focusing on some turn-of-the-century heroes called Buffalo Soldiers. The Buffalo Soldiers were four all-black regiments in the U.S. Army. We'll talk not just of their accomplishments in the military, such as the Spanish-American War, but how they've helped America grow and develop. First, let's talk about their beginnings. African Americans have served in military roles since the Revolution. After the Civil War in 1866, the U.S. Army created originally six groups for African American soldiers. Those six groups were then narrowed down to four groups, the 9th and 10th Cavalry on horseback and the 24th and 25th Infantry on foot. And these four groups became known as the Buffalo Soldiers. During the time of westward expansion, the Buffalo Soldier regiments were stationed out west, and they performed a number of duties from protecting settlers who moved out west, to building roads, and even guarding the U.S. mail. The Buffalo Soldiers even tested new military tactics. In this case, we already know how popular bicycling was in the late 1800s, and the military was even thinking about using bicycles in times of war. So the Buffalo Soldiers packed up and went on a 23-day, 800-mile bicycle trek from Fort Missoula to Yellowstone National Park. And the pictures of this event are pretty cool. Another role the Buffalo Soldiers played out west was the formation of our national parks. Although Ulysses S. Grant signed for the first national park, it was when Teddy Roosevelt became president that we saw a large effort for nature conservation, which means protecting natural resources for future generations. The National Park Service recently did a study on the Buffalo Soldiers, and this map shows all the national parks that the Buffalo Soldiers had a hand in creating. For example, in the early 1900s, the 25th Infantry of the Buffalo Soldiers spent five years in Hawaii. In Hawaii, they built trails and preserved the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, and even became a part of the Hawaiian community. Now let's go back just a little bit to talk about the Buffalo Soldiers during the Spanish-American War. In the 1996 book Unwept, author Edward Van Sell Scott stated veteran black troops in 1898 were more responsible than any other group for a United States victory. Of the major battles in Cuba, the Battle of San Juan Hill is the most well known. We remember this as Teddy Roosevelt and his ragtag team of volunteers called the Rough Riders taking the hill and winning the war. But it didn't quite go down like that. In reading accounts of the Battle of San Juan Hill, we realized that Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders had a lot of help from the Buffalo Soldiers. There was actually 1,250 black troops who fought side by side with the Rough Riders in the battle that made Teddy Roosevelt famous. While there wasn't much commemoration for the Buffalo Soldiers at first, in the black community, these men were heroes. I want to share a quote from historian Rayford Logan about the Buffalo Soldiers. He says, Negroes had little, at the turn of the century, to help sustain our faith in ourselves, except for the pride we took in the 9th and 10th Cavalry and the 24th and the 25th Infantry. Many Negro homes had prints of the colored charge up San Juan Hill. They were all Ralph Bunch, Marion Anderson, Joe Lewis, and Jackie Robinson. We're going to take a quick pause on our Buffalo Soldiers video. You see where I'm coming to you live from my dad's class, CamCast. I'm excited to be here. He's helping me out today because I really want to show you what that historian was talking about. The historian talked about how African-American families took so much pride in the Buffalo Soldiers that they had paintings in their house. And it would look a lot like this. This is the main one. It's called Charge of the Colored Regulars. There might be different variations on postcards or maybe a newspaper, but this is the main one that would probably be hanging in the house. Now back to the video. Buffalo Soldiers continued to pave the way for America to grow, and African-Americans continued to serve bravely and serve separately in wars to come. It's not going to be until 1948 that the military is desegregated. And as African Americans continue to fight overseas in both world wars, the African American experience at home faces violence, discrimination, and segregation on into the civil rights era. In the modern day, we've seen a resurgence of information about the Buffalo Soldiers and their contributions beginning in the 60s with this book and other investigations as technology becomes more available. We even have a local connection to the Buffalo Soldiers. We have a local group on horseback called the Buffalo Riders of Hampton Roads, led by artist Ken Wright, and their mission is to keep alive the Buffalo Soldiers' legacy and pass on information to future generations. You can most likely see them at their annual Parade of Horses in downtown Portsmouth. Thanks for listening to Pollock Academy, Buffalo Soldiers.